Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're talking about the five best website builders you can use to create a professional website in a matter of hours or even less. And so these are all website builders that I've used in the past. And if you're looking to make an online presence for your business or a portfolio for yourself, maybe if you're an artist, whatever it is, maybe a wedding, it could be literally anything. If you're looking to make a website, it could be intimidating. You might think that you need to know HTML or know how to code, stuff like that. Honestly, it's easier than ever before now. In a matter of, like I said, hours or even less, you can use any one of these five, make a totally professional website that could have a store on there, it could have blogs on there, you could have people booking for your hotel, you could have bookings for restaurants, reserving tables, just endless, endless options. And now, like for the average small business, you really don't have to hire anybody to make your website. You can just do it yourself. So these are five that I like, although quick disclaimer here, I've tried many more than just these five. These are the ones that I think the average person looking to make an online presence for a wedding or for a small business or maybe a larger business if you're trying to make an online store, whatever it is, these are what I think you guys would most like. And these are in the order that I think most people would like them. But depending on your needs, you may want maybe number five instead of number one. So definitely watch this entire video before making your decision. And I'll highlight the differences between these to help you decide which one's the best one for you. Now, starting off number one, the one that I like best and I think most people out there would be using is actually Squarespace. And Squarespace is a little bit less popular than Wix and Weebly because they've actually made, made some pretty big improvements over the last couple years that really brought them ahead. But of course, Wix and Weebly still have a very large user base from five or so years ago. So Squarespace now has some incredible templates. That's the number one reason that I would choose them is because they're so easy, so bulletproof, and very, very robust. So they have many, many templates you can choose from. They all look really professional. You can tweak them as much as you need to to make them look like the perfect color, the right pictures, the right logos everywhere, the right text, you can do everything. And it's a very curated process where at first people do say it's a little bit intimidating. I'm not including that in this review here because honestly, we did make an entire tutorial on it. As long as you watch that, if you read the comments, everybody says it's super easy once you know how to use it. So check out that tutorial if you choose Squarespace. But honestly, besides looking really good, they also have some really great features in there, including email marketing. They have, you can get a domain. And honestly, it is a little bit more expensive than the other options on this list up front. But actually Squarespace, and I find it ends up being cheaper in the end because it does come with so many things that you already need. So for example, it, you can get a domain with it. Uh, it'll come with SSL, things like that, that you would otherwise be paying extra for. It just comes with all the Squarespace packages. So it's generally the most well-rounded, robust builder out of all of these, in my opinion. You also have some pretty good SEO, some search engine optimization with Squarespace. So on each individual page, you can choose the right header, the right uh, little text that goes below that and the right URL that you want. So when somebody searches it in Google, it'll show up with exactly the right title right there, exactly the right little snippet of words, like a little mini paragraph below that. And you're gonna have a better click-through rate. SEO is really good with Squarespace. Also on top of that, they have great integrations with social media. So integrating with maybe Instagram, for example, you can sell directly on Instagram. And that's a very powerful thing. If you're looking to do e-commerce, that's something that, you know, if you've ever tried this, you'll know that it's so much more powerful if you're able to integrate your products directly in Instagram so that people can just buy it right there and you're going to find much more success if you're doing that kind of social media marketing with that. On top of that, you do have an app you can get on your phone that have analytics in there uh, and a lot of other tools that are very, very useful. I find that when you're on the go, having the app on your phone is a great way to keep an eye on your website and make sure things are working well. Squarespace also has some add-ons. It's not quite as extensive as Wix or Weebly's app library, but the add-ons can be fairly useful if you want them. I find that I generally don't use those, um, but I do use everything that Squarespace already has. So they have a lot of e-commerce tools and they do have blogging tools as well. So if you're looking to make a blog on maybe your restaurant or whatever you're doing, Squarespace is definitely an excellent choice. Then that brings us to number two, which honestly, I was hesitant to make this number two. I almost made it number one because me personally, uh, I kind of prefer this one for my own use, but I'm a little more familiar with the website building industry out there. So I'm looking to customize things a little bit more. I think the average person, like I said, would definitely be looking for Squarespace. But if you're looking to you know, tweak things a little bit more, Wix actually has a much more free experience out there. So if you're looking to move things exactly where you want them, Wix is really the option. If you need some extra little fringe apps and add-ons on your website, Wix is also very good for that. So I'll, I'll explain what I mean right here. 
So Squarespace, you basically, the way you're gonna edit is you choose a template and then you choose each individual little strip that you have, a little block, and you can choose different designs for each block. So you can have a picture there and text over there. You can have like multiple pictures and they have many different options for what the layout is, but you're constrained to only choosing those layouts, which is good and bad. It's good because you never have to worry about your website not looking great or your website not working on different devices. So if somebody's using a phone or a desktop or if they're using a projector, you never know what people are gonna use for your website, but it's always going to look good with Squarespace. Now in Wix, with the other hand, it's much more freeform. The editor, you can click and drag things anywhere you want, unlike Squarespace. And because of that, the good and the bad here, the good, you can make it look however you want. If you want this little picture to be rotated slightly and moved a little bit to the left, you can easily do that with Wix. And then the bad part of this, unfortunately, is that if you move things around, you have to be really careful not to have it slightly off the screen if somebody's using like an iPad, for example. So you wanna make sure that your website works well with Wix, and honestly, when you're comparing the two, I would say it's almost like Apple and Android. So Squarespace is kind of like Apple where you can't customize it quite as much, but everything works very well, it's very curated. Whereas Wix, you know, you can change like launchers on Android and stuff like that. It's much more tailored, uh, and it's definitely great if you're looking to be more, a little bit more artistic with your website. And on top of that, kind of what I mentioned before, is that Wix has their own app market that is you know, very extensive. They have like 300 or so apps out there uh, and you can really optimize your website. And a lot of the apps are actually made by Wix. So they have like Wix hotel bookings, Wix restaurant bookings uh, and things like that. So depending on what your business is, you can use one of these Wix apps and have these extra functions on your website to really amplify how powerful it is and how effective your website is as well without having to go out and get third party applications or, or other landing pages for things like that. As far as search engine optimization or SEO, as I said, Squarespace does a good job, probably as good a job as most of the other ones on this list, but Wix, I think, actually does something a little bit better. They have something called SEO Wiz, which walks you through it, and you don't have to go and check each individual page nearly as much. Instead, they go through, it's kind of like filling out a job application in a way, where it just brings up like the next field. It's like, all right, now type in this, now type in the next thing, now give us like an image for this, and you just kind of follow the instructions and go along as it prompts you to do things. And before you know it, your website's ranking at the top of Google. So I really like how Wix has SEO is. And on top of that, Wix also has some really great tools in there, including email marketing. They have something called like Ascend by Wix. So Ascend is their own kind of extra thing. You're gonna pay a few extra dollars. I think it's like 10 extra dollars a month or something. And you can do a lot of digital marketing with that. You can, you know, you can manage ads, you can manage your email marketing, you can manage messages, and basically anything else you're looking to do with digital marketing, you can do with Ascend by Wix. Wix, of course, also does have an app, which is nice for the chat feature on your website. If somebody visits your website and they go down to the bottom right and they want to ask you a question, you know, I don't have my laptop in my pocket ever, or it's really not with me all the time, but if I'm going around and I have my phone there, it'll give me a notification. I'll see that somebody sent a message on my website. I can go in and just reply really quickly, and it really uh, improves the user experience if they can send a message and get a response instantly, especially with you, the owner of the website. So that's a way that you can really uh, gain a lot more business, especially if you're looking for like lead generation or consulting. It's a great way to just get more people on your website and using your website and engaging with you, uh, knowing that they actually have somebody on the other side that they can contact. And then the very last thing I wanna mention is that Wix also has many more features, including like G Suite hosting. So if you want to get a domain through Wix, you can of course, uh, and then if you wanna make a, an email, you can use Gmail, and then they have something called G Suite that you can host through Wix. So you just pay a little bit extra uh, per year, it's like $50 a year, I think, with Wix, and then it can be like Mike at greenplants.com or something. And so you have a professional email then, which is going to look a lot better when you're interacting with customers and potential clients. So if Wix on one hand is total free form, but there's a little bit of room for error in there, and then Squarespace on the other hand is completely curated, uh, and you don't have a lot of freedom, but it's guaranteed to work and look good, then somewhere in the middle, you're gonna find Weebly. And Weebly is one that I think is number three here. It's not necessarily the best at either thing, but it's a good, happy medium for a lot of people out there where you can't move things anywhere you want on the screen, but it's still click and drag it. They just kind of snap to a grid. Uh, and that grid is pretty much guaranteed to look good on, it's gonna be responsive. It's gonna look good on mobile, on uh, a tablet. It's gonna look good really wherever people use your website. So that's what Weebly is good for. They also have a lot of apps, again, somewhere on the order of like 300-ish apps. Some of them are not quite as good as the Wix apps, but there's still great apps out there. You can use them for countless things. I mean, 300 different apps. You can imagine what the options are there. 
Uh, and the website building experience is pretty good. Something Weebly does really well is their navigation. So on the top, on the top little navigation bar of your website, if you have like about us, you have blog, you have something like that, you know, you can have sub menus for each of those. So if somebody hovers over about us, you can go down, you can say contact us, you can say a bunch of other things, and then you can have sub sub menus. So if somebody hovers over contact us, it can hover, it can open another menu and hover over that and open another menu. So you can have many layers of menu on there. Uh, which may seem confusing as I'm explaining it right now, but just figure that it's great if you have a website and you're looking to make 30 or 40 or even more pages, it's a great way to navigate around and just kind of make a hierarchy of organization for your website. That's something Weebly is really good for, and that's really who I would recommend Weebly to the most. Weebly actually has probably the cheapest options out of these, but it also has a free version, similar to how Wix has a free version. Um, and actually something I should have mentioned earlier is if any of these uh, if you like two of these and you don't know what the differences are, I did make more extensive difference uh, comparison videos. So like Wix versus Weebly or Weebly versus Squarespace. I'll link those down below and whichever one of these you decide that you like, I did actually make a tutorial on pretty much all of these. So if you want to know how to actually make a website with Weebly or Squarespace or Wix or whatever you're using, the link will be down in the description below. So go check that out if you're interested after this video. Number four then is actually GoDaddy, which is very similar to Weebly. I would say this one uh, is a little bit, it's a little bit less powerful than Weebly. Weebly has those extra apps on there and some other add-ons you can get. Whereas GoDaddy is a lot more simple and it's gonna be better for people that are just looking to just make a website in a very short amount of time. They don't wanna mess around with apps or other things like that. If you just wanna make a quick website, it's gonna be like a personal portfolio. Maybe if you're trying to make like a, a resume online or something, then maybe GoDaddy would be a great way to do this. It's also, it has some cool features in there built in, such as the appointment feature. So if you're looking to have people make appointments with your business, which could be for literally anything, then GoDaddy is still a very viable option for that. It's definitely not the best for blogging, but they do have generally a very similar ecosystem in there that we saw with Weebly. And that brings us to the very last one, which is Duda. And Duda is probably less known out of all five of these. It's still one that I recommend, but for a slightly different group, it's definitely better for people who are more like consultants or uh, really what I'm saying is like agencies. If you're trying to make websites for clients, then Duda might be a good one for you because you can have some other account options on there. Um, so I think that's really nice with them. They also have a, a similar layout to Wix, or sorry, to Weebly and to GoDaddy where it's click and drag, but it's still kind of snap to grid set up like that. Um, Duda overall is generally pretty good. It's really good with multilingual options as well. So you can change languages for different countries. Not that you can't do that with other ones. You can get an app for Wix that does that very easily, but you get the idea that it's kind of very well integrated with Duda as well. Okay, so those were the five website builders that I recommend to people that are looking to start a website. Of course, all of them have paid options. I usually recommend paid options, but as I mentioned before, if you're interested in instead, maybe like e-commerce website building, or just free website builders, I will be making two different videos about those. I'll link those down below in this video. If they're not there yet, consider subscribing to this channel so that you get notified when they are released in the next week or two. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, they probably are already out. But otherwise guys, so those are the five that I like. Really to summarize, if you're looking to just make a robust website and it's just kind of a general purpose website, you're not trying to do anything super advanced, um, then Squarespace is probably a good option. They have great e-commerce, they have great uh, like a blog on there, they have just a really good website setup that is clean, it looks very professional, uh, and for most people, it's going to be exactly what you need. That's why I recommend Squarespace. If you're looking for more freedom, I think the answer is probably Wix, but if you're looking for something that's easier to make or a little bit more of a hybrid between the two of those, then Wix, or then Weebly, GoDaddy, and Duda are really the other three options you should be looking at. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below which of these five you like best, or maybe if there's a different one that you like instead of these five. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>